lot of people in the BCI are from an engineering or an ICT background, you know, math and computation, or from a very clinical background, um, or from neuroscience, and they all have a different language. It's one of the most fragmented fields that I've been in. I've, I wanted to bring everything together for young people to, to get a perspective of what state of affairs is. I think we have a very nice uh, uh, range of speakers who represent the uh, state of the art in, in the fields that are all associated with BCI. It doesn't, may not change your science, but it will make you think and it will open up uh, your thoughts about problems you had never considered before. And then you might come up with better solutions because you come from a different angle. So. Today we will use another cap, so we call it gamma cap. It's already pre-assembled with the electrodes that we need, in this case for P300 and also for SSVEP experiments. But we will only select the eight electrodes for this experiment today. And then the cap is already aligned. We have here some jail that we call gamma jail. And it's a jail which disappears after about two or three hours. And then you just select the electrodes that you need. You make sure that the syringe touches the skin. So just fill up the electrodes like yesterday. Connect yourself. And then we check again the data quality. Well, it's nice to see how it's matured over the past 10 years and just sort of the, the growing sophistication of the people here and, and sort of the common understanding of the problems. Um, people 10 years ago were coming from very different areas and were almost speaking different languages in regard to BCI research, and um, that's not really true anymore. People understand the issues and uh, understand the major problems and the major, I think, the major things that have to be done if the field's going to continue to develop and be productive. After um, having seen one-dimensional BCI control using EEG, I never thought it's going to go um, anywhere beyond the one-dimensional uh, control. And then, of course, John Wolpaw showed two dimensions and two dimensions plus a click and then the three dimensions. And uh, just to see that um, progressing like this, uh, I would have never thought that that would be possible. We're really trying to think of the future of BNCI. So okay. you have to have a little bit of fantasy about what might be possible in the future. So how can we rewrite these scenarios that you might think, OK, now I can, maybe we have to make it less concrete. But later on, after, after I present all of them, I want to send you all, split you up in groups, and then you can really write down what you think should be changed in this. Is that okay? One story about a woman uh, we'd been following. She, she was locked in at that time, and she was being interviewed for a German uh, documentary. The journalist asked her, um, she said, I cannot understand why you chose to be artificially ventilated. And um, with the BCI, um, this woman wrote, life is always exciting, valuable and interesting. And that to me was um, a very good moment. I think that what we're doing right now is laying the foundation for the next generation to actually enhance normal humans. And the reason I think it's important to do that is because, I don't know if you know Ray Kurzweil, who's predicted that you know, machine intelligence will be at least equal and probably surpass human intelligence by 2045, which is a generation away. So we have to hurry up and enhance human intelligence or we'll be surpassed by the machines. Actually, very optimistic. Um, it, it, it's gonna work. I wouldn't worry about it difficultly at all. That's the fun, that's the challenge, as long as you don't take it like, oh, terribly seriously. No, it's the fun challenge. And I think there's a lot of uh, changes that we're going to look at uh, for the next two or three meetings at least. Yeah. And this is not going to go away. BCI is going to be uh, in our face because people really do expect to, uh, to get uh, this kind of enhancement ultimately.